First game, I got mid. I ban the cat. Enemy first picks Soraka. My team picks Alistar and Zeri. Enemy picks Jace and Cannon. Now it's my time to pick my jungler picks Nautilus. And as for me, you know, I was still thinking I was against a Cannon. So what is a good counter for that? And I'm like, there's no need to think. Just play Zoe. At the beginning of the game, I go straight to the bush. I do my usual thing. Wait for our opponent, but nobody was here. In the laning phase, it was pretty equal. I mean, we just take minions. He does his thing. I do my thing. We just do our thing. This time, I decided to go top side because why not, right? Just why not? And in this moment, I saw the Soraka, for some reason, recalling. So I had the opportunity here. I used my flash to go in. I didn't hit anyone. I used my third seal to the Soraka. The Alistar knocks these guys up. What? But yeah, we killed the Soraka, but I had an inkling feeling that the cannon was gonna be here and we're just stuck here. And I was right, the cannon was here, he holds in and I used my ignite to get the flash. Then I just back off here, I didn't die. We got the dragon and he's got the referral. As we're going back to the lane, you could say that Volibear tried dropping the referral in mid, but luckily I was here. We're able to stop this guy, I tried bursting him, but... I can Once again, a fight was happening at the top side, so I used my combo to nobody. But then I stayed behind here because I predicted that the cannon is gonna come once again. And I was right. And I wait for him to use his ult full combo, then I'm gonna go in. And he didn't use his ult, I guess. So I just do my thing. I burst out the opponent here. I mean, this is just pure masterclass. This Soraka is dead. Like. This is just pure masterclass. The Volibear, I tried going for him, but my team is here. So they do all the work, I can kill him. Back in the middle, I'm gonna show you something. This is something I just learned, or I do now, because after the nerf, you could say I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna explain it. In this moment, I used my full combo to the cannon, but I didn't hit my third skill, so I just recall, you know? After this, I just recall, because, you know, I didn't hit anything. But then this Jace, got stunned up and he just dies so, I mean we take those I hit my third skill again but we're not gonna kill that guy as you can tell at this point of the game we still couldn't push mid lane the cannon was a really good daffer you could say and then I saw the volleyball in the map so I used my third skill here this guy is gonna get my full combo I was surprised myself that I didn't burst him then the dragon was about to spawn so the usual tactic is that I play behind I used my third skill here to stun people up but game plan was to stay behind and then I predicted once again that the cannon is gonna be using his flash going in later so I'm just gonna wait for that then after that I'm gonna go in and look I was completely right and once his ult is gone I go in now my team is doing all the work as well so this is just pure prediction from myself I go in here, but I got silent, so I couldn't burst the opponent. Then I get this um, heal first. Then I use it, use my proto belt. I go back into the fight. Use my proto belt, use my full combo. I kill everyone in this moment. Like this is just pure masterclass. The Soraka is all alone. This guy is dead, but he flashes away. I get the flash. I didn't hit it. So I mean, this is just pure masterclass. After that flash, though, finally we're able to get the mid tower for for the first time in this game in history it took 11 minutes to get the mid tower from the opponent then my team is on the bot side this jane jane jace was all alone in top side so this guy is pretty much dead in my opinion in my head i used my first i miss i hit my third skill i used my first skill use my flash use my ignite this guy is just dead this is just this is just uh I don't know. After that, we did the Baron, and surprisingly, there was no contest, so we got it for free. So yeah, for the first game of the day, it's a, it's a good game. My team are doing really well this game. I mean, the enemy team was okay in a way. I mean, they got 8 kills over our 20 kills, so... I mean, they're kinda... deaf by us. But yeah, I just continued pushing here. My team are fighting. I don't really care about the kills here. I just want to end the game. Hit my third skill to Jace. Then this Zeri just cancels my stun. Like, is this guy dumb? This guy is so dumb. I'm kidding, but I'm kidding. I'm not that toxic. This enemy team is completely trash. They are the most garbage ass. Second game, I got mid. I banned the cat. I show pick Zoe. Our team first picks Echo. Enemy picks Kaisa and Lulu. 
our team picks Caitlyn and Nami. Enemy then picks Vagar and Chen. Now it's my time to pick and I was show picking Zoe. So of course I'm gonna pick Zoe. I pick Ari. At the start of the game or you could say the early game or you could say even the level 1 scenario was nothing. There was no fight here. I was just taking minions. I'm not gonna try fighting this Vagar because... I feel like I'm gonna lose, so I just take minions. At level 3, my jungler Echo was in the map and he was prompting for a gank. So I do my job here. I use my second skill for movement speed, then I use my flash. I It didn't work, but I somehow hit it and the Echo kills him. After that, I was just clearing minions in mid, but my mistake, I didn't ping my teammates. They were in top side. And look at me, I'm just chilling. The Vagar got the Echo and that is completely my fault. I will take that one into heart. So in this moment, I tried taking revenge, you know, as a good mid laner. This Vagar is going to go here in the red side. So I'm going to kill this guy. I used my ult. I didn't use my third skill first, so he couldn't escape. He escaped. At this point of the game, I completely give up. I am not really that good of an Ari player. I'm not going to use this champion ever again because I can't hit my third skill. Like, I'm completely useless. But in this moment, I was able to hit my third skill myself, you know. I was actually able to hit something for once in my life. I was able to hit something. But then, I was able to get my ult in this moment. So, I just go in for the kill here. I didn't use my third skill because I'm not going to hit it, but I got the kill. After that, Echo was doing the referral. So, I was helping him. Then, I decided to go in top side to help to kill this guy. So, I read it myself. I used my flash third skill. I didn't hit anything. Why am I even playing this champion? Dako then drops for a foul then mid and I tried getting gold from this one but I can't get any. Like what is the explanation to that? Like I was in mid lane. I should have gotten that. Like what is that? Literally like there is no explanation for that. Like I should have gotten the gold there. Like there is zero reason why I didn't get the gold there. I was there. I was completely there. I was sitting in the mid lane. I was in the range for the gold. Like I don't know man. I just need gold. I need money. Give me the money. This time of I was happening in the mid lane and as a good mid laner, I do nothing. Completely useless. I tried KSing in this moment, but I couldn't get it. I'm not gonna play the champion ever again. I was clearing minions in mid lane, then this Kale comes here, clears the minions as I was clearing myself. Then he just saw, you know, I saw myself that fight was happening there, so I predict this is gonna go there. Use my ult, use my third skill. I didn't hit my third skill, use his ult. So I had to run away here because I could die. I couldn't get him. Just let me. I just don't want to play this champion anymore. In this moment, I saw opportunity to try and kill the cane. He was all alone in the top side. I had the per perfect opportunity to kill this guy. I have my everything. I have my flash. I have my third skill. So I used my full combo. Use my After that, we got the dragon. Yeah, I'm done. After that, we're doing the Baron, and I warded the spot to try and kill the opponent. Then I use my full combo. I use my Zonis to not get burst. I got a kill. We got the Baron. Like, this is just pure masterclass. I use my ult again to try and kill the ADC or the support, but I couldn't get him. I tried killing anyone. I couldn't kill anyone, but, you know, we got a win here. My team are really good this game. So, yeah, for the second game of the day, we got a victory. Third game, I got top. I ban Yumi. Enemy first picks Kane. My team picks Karma and Fizz. Mid laner then shows Jace. And I was like, I could play mid. I then asked if I could play mid, then I show pick Zoe. Surprisingly, he agreed. He says up. And I was like, what? He said up. He keeps saying up. I was like, what up? I was making sure that he was like, you're allowing me to play mid. And I was like, he's going Baron lane. So I lock in Zoe. Of course, I said thank you. At the start of the game, I go straight to the bush. I waited in this spot, expecting an opponent, but nobody came. So I go to this next bush, then I war the spot, then I got poke. What a great start. In the laning phase against the Slux, I tried dodging his third skill, but to no avail, I keep getting hit. No matter how much I try, to get hit. Then at level 4, a fight was happening at top side, so as a not really good mid laner, I'm not a good mid laner. I admit it. So I go there, hoping to kill the Senna. So I use my third skill in the wall and I somehow hit the Senna. So I use my flash here, go in. I use my ignite, but I couldn't kill him. Then my fist died. I get this flash in the floor. The Lux was here, so I tried escaping and 
luckily I was able to escape. Now back in mid lane, I was just clearing minions, not really initiating a fight in any way. But then the Fizz King, he was gonna gank here. So as a good, I'm not a good mid laner, but then I clear the minions, hit my third skill. This gives the Fizz an opportunity to kill this guy. He goes in, but the Lux has a barrier, so we can kill him. I use the barrier to escape. But this poor Fizz, all alone, in the blue side, the cane was there. I mean, what can we do here? Is it my fault? I mean, th this is nobody's fault. Like, how is there three people here? Like, how is the support in the mid lane? I don't know, man, but we, I mean, it's an issue. Remembering the thing I said in the first game, trying to teach you something. This is what I do. I let the opponent clear the minion first, then they go close to the minions. I use my full combo now, and that's how I do it. I... Kill the minions and I also win the trade. It's like killing two birds with one stone. The reason why I didn't explain it earlier because I was just lazy. Then in this moment, as you can see, my support karma just walks over there. He just tanks everything. He just dies and what can I say? Dragon has spawned. We are completely outnumbered. So what can we do here? Like literally, what can we do? So yeah, enemy team got a dragon. And now my team is just... On the losing side, I mean, what can we do? We are completely outnumbered. Hit my third to the Ezreal. Then I use my full combo. But yeah, he's not there. Then I get this ghost on the floor. It's gone. And my team are just losing the fight. This game tried killing me. Use my third skill. Use my ignite to run away with the movement speed. And what can I say? What can we do? Then in this moment, it is my duty as a mid laner to clear the minions. So I do it. I use my ult. Then once again, I had the cooldown for my first skill, so once again, I use it. I was uh, contemplating using my flash, but I didn't. Then I hit my third skill to the ADC, then we kill him. But yeah, enemy team got Earth Herald, and what do you expect? The cane comes here, drops Earth Herald, skill issue. The dragon has spawned yet again, and what can we do as a team? It is actually a bad idea in my opinion for us to be starting this. That was my thought. And what I expect, my team are just getting completely killed in the process. I mean, there's ult everywhere. Like, what am I supposed to do? So I just go back in mid lane, trying to clear the minions, trying to do my part as a mid laner. But yeah, what can we do at this point? The Jax was pushing in the bot side, so that's that's kind of cool, you know. That was uh, that was our only hope of winning this game. For the jacks to push towers and successfully was able to get the towers but yeah he dies in the process now once again i'm back in mid lane and at this point i had no trust or i had no confidence of going to push that tower the sayo had the confidence and what to expect he gets completely bursted completely comboed kane comes here and he dies a horrible death that is expected because Kane is the most buff champion and now he's going to top side, going for the Fizz. Like this poor Fizz, I know he's gonna die because Kane is the strongest champion in the game. Wait, he's not gonna die actually. Wait, he still dies. For the hundred times now, I'm going back to mid lane. I go for the clear here, which is a bad idea because I'm gonna get pinched. I got snared. The Kane comes here, so I had to use my flash to run away. Then the Santa also and I tried dodging it, I dodge it. Then the Lux also, I tried dodging it and I dodge it. Like, get, what is happening? Then I do what is... I live. Finally, the last clash happens and I'm just running away at this point. Scared of my life. Scared to die. I'm recalling. I was scared of the opponent. You know, they're gonna kill me. The Kane is fighting once again. So this is my opportunity to kill this guy and I got killed. This champion is completely broken. Like... Kane is so broken, but I'm pretty sure this game is just about skill issue. This is why we lost. It's not about being broken. I'm not going to blame any champion for being broken because I use broken champion as well. Example is Zoe at her peak. I like I use Zoe a lot and I know it's broken. But either way, we lost this game. What can I do? GG. Well, now that the third game is over, I just want to say something. I just want to say, because this, this is the only purpose why I made this video today. I just want to say thank you for this guy. 
buddy i can't say your name but you are my first member in this channel ever you're the first person in the history of the world a stranger who gave me a money and i just want to say thank you bro you are the first bro of this channel i will never let this transgression go to waste thank you for becoming i'm not gonna say it but yeah thank you for donating i can't say your name because i'm gonna mispronounce it and then and now that's it for me for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm done. Peace out.